Hello. This video is what I think about the hundredth monkey phenomenon. Now, this is a thing, I think it was an island in Japan, and it was actually witnessed by, like, a uh, scientist or something. And basically, um, somebody taught um, these monkeys how to uh, break um, their coconuts open with a rock. And, like, none of the monkeys could eat the coconuts and stuff. So like this monkey did it, and then this other monkey saw him do it, and then pretty much all, pretty soon all the monkeys on the island were doing that. And then next thing they knew, even though you know since the beginning of time none of the monkeys knew how to do that, like the next island over, the monkeys started doing it. And the idea is that ah uh, the the uh, you know psychic energy of the monkeys on the island got so strong because there were so many monkeys there that it actually carried over psychically um to the next island and uh all the monkeys over there started doing it too so the idea is that you know the same thing works on the on the earth too um now um so it also goes to like the idea that uh you know groups small groups of of uh you know people who are working for something good uh, who work together um are a lot more effective than large groups of people who aren't doing anything uh this is what you know bashar was saying like two positive people are worth 10 negative people 10 positive people are worth like 40 negative people or something and it just in increases exponentially until until 1% or 1, I think it's 1% or 1% of the whole planet. All you need is like 9,000 people or something. I don't know what exactly what it is. Can change the whole course of the world because it'll just, all the other people will just kind of like fall in line with it. Um, it's kind of like uh, if you go into like, um, you know, thousands of years ago in caveman days, you know, and there's all these like tiny little tribes of hunter gatherer types, and then you have like one small group of people who decide to build a fort and um, till the land and and, um, and you know divide up the tasks so that people can have the time to you know become <clears throat> masters at certain skills and then they just become they make a civilization and then that then then they pretty soon they control the whole world and they can they spread it all out um Kind of like that. Um, so, kind of like you know the way the world is now. It's really jumbled up. It's it's you can also visualize it. Uh, uh, you know, visualize it in, in a diagram or in like art artwork. Artwork also um, say like as a crystal. Um, all of the hunter gatherer types would be like um, would be just like just incoherent splatterings of of just bits of uh, say a person would be a drop of water incoherent splatterings of water just all over the place and then a civilization you have it's like a crystal all the people fall in line lockstep um, um, into a system where you can get a lot more done and uh and uh, you can live a lot more of a uh, comfortable life because, you know, you have this guy and he, he makes houses, so he builds all the houses really fast. And, and then this guy, he does uh, the plumbing, so he's really good at the plumbing, you know. Like if you teach, in the days of caveman days, you can't have everybody know everything like that. You have to specialize, you know. And um, so it's kind of like a crystal, society of crystal. And uh, so the idea is that even in the world of today, you could have a crystal. Like, I would say New Age religion would be the people of the crystal because it's a bunch of people who agree on everything because they just see the light and they connect everything. All of the, connect all the sciences, connect all of the religions, connect, you know, the best of everything and create um, something so, you know, um, 
so clear and uh, and uh, coherent. Um, so um, uh, so good <laughs> that everybody else who's kind of like not seeing eye to eye would just would just have no choice but to just join in that group. Because like today we have all these different religions, and especially in you know these third world countries like the Middle East, you have like all these different religions that all they know about each other is that they don't agree with each other. That's all they know. They just you know they know what they know, and they're not interested in anything else. And so there's no communication going between them. And say this even the scientists these days that all the scientist knows is his science, and he doesn't care about the other science. So there's no communication going on. Whereas if you were to have all these people who would agree with each other and understand each other, then they don't even need to be close to each other because of the internet and the age of communication, that they just communicate with each other and they agree with on this and then and then so that they grow and they grow and they become they do more and and uh like um and they just decide to, for themselves that that's what what they're gonna do and then because of that they have a vision. They create a vision and then they use that vision to uh, spread what they exactly what they want to do, and and then all these other people who are just like arguing with each other would just, you know, because they don't unify, then they'll just have to fall lockstep into uh, the New Agers plan. So basically, um, how exactly would like would New Agers take over the world? Um, well, right now, say with the two-party system, right now we have the Democrats and Republicans, and it kind of seems like you're either a Democrat or Republican, there's no third party. Um, so, but, but there's all these... And... Uh, all these, well, it's really difficult to actually describe exactly how. I guess I haven't gotten that far in my uh, idea, but um, you have all these uh, d Democrat and Republican, and, you know, if you're a Democrat, you're supposed to believe in all this. If you're a Republican, you're supposed to believe in all this. Um, but there's no real um, agreement on all of the issues. Um, whereas I think once the New Age religion gets big enough, everybody will agree on all of these issues, you know, like freedom, basically. Um, um, so cutting out any, any kind of programs, wasteful programs of control, um, uh, trust, um, and uh, living simply, I think people will start, well, and I'm kind of getting carried away, but start moving back in with their families and just spending all their time uh, educating themselves and educating other people and then starting industries of education-based stuff and service-based stuff instead of just um, material-based stuff. And... Um, that will just take over and uh, the world will totally change. Um, but I guess uh, it kind of gets vague. But basically what I'm saying is uh, 100th Monkey, um, it just it, 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 it spreads. It's like a nuclear explosion. Like uh, Instead of people just uh, disagreeing all the time, if you just get a, a certain kind of people who agree and then you join in on it, then you just... You get sucked into it, you know. It's kind of like fundamentalist Christians. They're so happy with each other in their own little clique. They think that, you know, and then you have somebody else who's like a drug addict and they see that and they like get sucked in because they just want to be part of a group, you know, and that's what it's kind of like with a, uh, with a new age, uh, hundredth monkey. I hope I just made sense.